Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I want to do just a quick overview of how I set up a grabber for my Pixhawk. Um, this is going to allow you to drop things like water balloons and parachutes and all sorts of fun things. The first thing you need to do is get a cheap servo and connect just the signal lead to one of your empty ports on the back of your Pixhawk. In my case I used the port number four or pin out number four and then you connect the positive and negative lead to a 5 volt BEC. You do not want to connect this directly into the Pixhawk. It will um, cause shorts and, and have problems. Uh, you don't want to run the power through the Pixhawk to actually power the servo. So again use a BEC. You can see that in my picture here. The, the just one single signal lead to the Pixhawk and then the BEC being connected to the other two. Once you're inside Mission Planner go ahead and go to configurations then the extended parameters and you are wanting to change either channel 7 or channel 8 to grabber. This will allow you to obviously um, switch whatever channel you want on your radio to be the grabber. Then you're going to go into the extended parameters. You're going to want to go and look up grabber. And when you first do this, I already have mine configured, but when you do this for the first time, it's only going to come up with one option. Uh, below you'll see me have a couple different options if I can get to it. And I have four or five options there. You're going to want to enable grip enable. Set that to 1 and then reboot your board, meaning unplug it, then plug it back in, reconnect it to Mission Planner, and then this will load up a couple new settings, all the new grip type, grip grab, grip release, grip neutral, all these different settings. Those will all appear as soon as you reboot your board and have grip enabled set to 1. You are also going to want to go into the servo function inside of the extended tuning parameters and set auxiliary one or auxiliary two, whatever you have your um, your servo connected to. Now there's a great tutorial on how to do this on the ardupilot.org um, documentation. This documentation will help you and enable you to be able to walk through this process. This is just a little video to kind of hopefully go with the things that uh, you read in that documentation but I'm going to link that and if you follow along with that and this video you'll be able to get this working perfectly and I wanted to show a couple videos of how my grabber work I hope this was helpful for you guys and if you have any questions please comment in the description I can try to get back to you